Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you an episode of Warno. This is a 2v2 little skirmish with uh, Sir Jellybean and myself. This is actually my first game of Warno, and this isn't a uh, live recording. This is just a playback, which is a feature of Warno that I really like. But Warno is a game that I've been wanting to play for a really long time. But for whatever reason, I just haven't gotten into it. Um, probably because I was a little bit... A little bit afraid. Nice uh, SU-275 kill on a helicopter there. Um, so Jellybean and I, we are playing as the Pact Forces. I believe I am the 27th Guards and he is the 119th uh, Polish Tank. So, or I believe that's the Polish Tank. Um, although he's got T-80Us and a BVK bringing up a Tunguska over there. And it looks like my aircraft was destroyed by some F-16 Eagles. Uh, the AI over here is the 11th Armed Cavalry Regiment, or ACAV, and then 24th Infantry Division, Mechanized. Uh, I'll be learning this game a lot more over the coming months. I have been playing a little bit. Uh, I, I've put a decent chunk of games in since this battle, but thought I would show, show off the very first battle that... Uh, I played in this game, uh, especially since it's with Sir Jellybean, he's probably one of my favorite uh, YouTubers to collab with. There's no audio between the two of us, as this is a voiceover back through the playthrough, but this is the Hestool map, and I'm trying to take over the, the urban area here. I you, you can clearly see that I don't know what I'm doing in this very uh, first game, as I said. Hadn't really played this at all, tried to do the tutorial a little, really no clue what I was doing. Jellybean was kind of walking me through this on Discord, which was very, very nice of him. But as you can see, we're just trying to take up defensive positions here while Jellybean does the aggressive push with his with his tanks over here. He's got some Spetsnuts moving up. Um, I didn't understand, I guess, how to capture this objective. For those of you that are new to the game, you need your CVs, uh, command vehicles, command uh, infantry commanders, or the like to go in and actually capture the zone. So I was trying to figure out how to move my troops through the buildings. You can see that the AI here is moving forward and looks like they've got a push incoming with stingers uh, up and then they've got their F-16s and F-15s just kind of hovering around. That being said, the AI is, well, I, I believe this is on medium AI, but yeah, AI medium, uh, just since it was my first one. So the AI at medium is is not great. However, I will say in Warno, the jump from like hard AI, very hard AI, and the next is quite impressive. I'll show off some more videos of me playing with AI on my team, me playing solo versus AI, and then there's a couple battles that Jelly and I did uh, versus tougher AI, and there's actually a couple where we lose. Once again, um, he doesn't play this competitively, and I'm just learning, so uh, a couple things that I have to figure out. You can see that AI bringing up some Abrams, some PVADs, so they're AA, bringing up a toe which not not the greatest idea to yeah bring that forward you can see that my moto Strelke are trying to take it out they do have rpg 27s we'll see how that um how they do against the abrams they kind of not the greatest weapons uh, against them but they are stunning the abram uh i love the visuals of this game absolutely gorgeous game uh huey in the background you can see the AI pushing port here, PVADs trying to push away the SU-17, uh, the anti-pink one. It did fire some missiles, looks like it, uh, some nice hits over there. But my Moto Strelke against a PVAD, probably not going to do well, especially backed up with a toad. But if we do get a shot off, it should be good. I have put my recon out on the flanks. I do understand, I believe it's this building. Like, these high-rises here, if you take them, those are absolutely amazing. I didn't know that in this game. Um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos of, like, Vulcan. He's probably my favorite Warno skill division player. And then, uh, looks like Jelly moving up. Or these, uh, no, these are... I, I actually moved up some T-80 BBs, but it looks like they're 
a little overexposed. This M1 Abrams might get a nice shot off, although my T80 might shoot first. No. We'll see. Uh, looks like the M1A1 Abrams, uh, it was about even on the shot, but really need this T80 moved up over here and, uh, got a critical hit to it stuck, but the T80 BV did destroy the Abrams there, which is pretty awesome. As I was saying, uh, watching a lot of Vulcan, watching a lot of Saucy and a lot of SD League, there's a lot of other great Warno YouTubers out there. Um, but those are the three I've been watching a lot. Vulcan's probably my favorite, just he's got a like, silky smooth voice and um, a very, very calm demeanor when he plays, but not uh, not to the point where he's boring to listen to. He's, he's very knowledgeable and very good. Uh, those guys' micro is also amazing. My micro, absolutely terrible so far. I'm trying to get better. You'll see as I release more and more videos of this that my micro does get uh, better, but we we won't consider ourselves good yet by any stretch of the imagination. But for this video, I just wanted to get back into the swing of things, understand I haven't put out a video in quite a long time. I did make a post about it in the community section, um, just hadn't, didn't, feel, uh, didn't feel the YouTube thing for a little bit there. Um, you know, I, I've had some life things happen over the past two years, still dealing with it, uh, suffered a brain injury, I mean, fancy terminology for a long-term concussion a while back in a car accident, and that really put a damper on things. Um, I mean, that was before I started YouTube, but YouTube is one of those things that I, I wanted to get back into to, um, part of it was speech therapy. I had a very difficult time formulating sentences while doing other tasks, so for example, if you're playing and doing live commentary, um, it, that takes a lot of your brain power uh, just to play the game, and then a lot of brain power to do live commentary and not sound like a complete and utter buffoon. Here's an F16AA coming in. I'm not sure what it was trying to take out. If it was just doing a ground mission, but you can see I've got Iglas all about. Uh, Tunguska is coming in. Um, Jelly Bean with his A. Uh, SU 275s coming in. Uh, take out that pesky NATO aircraft. Here's a AH 1 Knight, but it looks like the Tunguska is going to take that out. Who is that? Sir Jellybean with a Tunguska. But yeah, I, part, part of why I started doing the YouTube one, uh, you know, it's exciting. And I have a lot of games in my library that I want to play, and it's a good excuse to play those games. Because you sort of feel responsible to put out more and more content of those games and you know keep a steady stream out but the other it was sort of like speech therapy trying to get back into the um uh, hang of doing something while speaking it's it's actually incredibly difficult when you had a long-term brain injury and when i say concussion i don't mean like oh your average concussion where a dude you know is somewhat back to normal in two weeks. I've I've had uh, basically two years worth of some sort of concussion. I forget the exact terminology they use it, but it's like post-concussion syndrome or something like that. And, um, you know, you get headaches pretty badly and sometimes your vision goes blurry. But um, that, that's just kind of giving you the details of what's been going on in my life as we have this game in the background. I'll say moving forward, uh, my my voiceovers of games like this, um, they'll be a lot different and hopefully the games will be a little bit more exciting because we won't be playing against medium AI who you know, puts one, two, three, four, five, six stingers in one single area and doesn't really push forward. Some sort of artillery firing out there, what is it? Um, these are Sir Jelly Beans, they're doing a fantastic job of spotting. Looks like he has a helicopter that probably took some damage earlier. Jelly Bean pushing up a bunch of heli helicopters over here. I'll probably do live commentary of this too, but probably not in skirmish battles multiplayer or that maybe just like the campaign and operations because those are a lot more chill. Um, for the skirmishes and multiplayer, they'll probably be voiceovers because I would like to concentrate on getting better at the game 
during those. Um, so this T80BV is in a world of hurt. Hopefully this T80BV really needs to come up and support it. This supply truck needs to come up here. And this infantry probably needs to move up to this building over here. But, um, oh, that's actually my, my AT air asset coming in, doing a good job taking that out. Looks like the AI doesn't really have much AA over here, just a PVADS. Um, obviously, I don't really know that because my vision, um, I mean, I've got recon over here, so I can see a few things, but not all of it. This conquers great position, shoot down the road, but I think it missed. But that RPG-27, or was it the T-80BV, absolutely destroyed. I think it was the T-80BV, yeah, I got a side shot on that M1 Abrams. Jelly, with an aggressive push, he has an Apache, however, that is, well, giving him some issues. M2728 CEV, that I believe is a, isn't it like an M60 or whatever with the short-ranged howitzer? I mean, it was, it's dead now. But these are designed to take out, like, dug-in infantry. Uh, very, yeah, short, stubby gun. I actually don't know a lot about that vehicle. I would say Cold War, I'm probably a little bit better than average on different air, uh, different assets. I overextended with my MiG over there and unfortunately it was shot down. You can see that AI, tons of chaparrales in the back. They do have a supply point back there. Um, one of the things I have learned is with your air assets, give them a target and then shift click uh, in a direction you want them to retreat in so they don't just fly through the enemy AI um, air defenses. Also, trying to set up my own air defenses would be better if these Iglas probably moved out a little bit more. I've got my command tank here. Really, that command tank should probably move up to about here. Get that uh, Ural behind it. Probably get this Igla. I mean, this, this uh, capture zone is actually kind of crap to be honest not a good places but probably move this igla over here or it's fine there um would be good oh looks like i moved up oh we went heavy onto the grads i think i, I learned after this battle grads are cute you probably need a forward of, uh observation for them or some of the beefier logistics for them and uh looks like a combined arms of jelly bean and silver in BTRs, gas trucks, moving up, um, that pesky F-15 Eagle. I'll say the Eagles, well, really the F-16s are the best, but F-15's not shabby either. Uh, the, the 27th, the, the MiG they have is pretty good, just comes in short supply. Another engagement over here. Really need to get two-on-ones, really need the command tank, but the nice thing about the command tank is it is giving an experience bonus to this vehicle, which makes it fire faster, its accuracy is better, so I guess that is a bonus there. Um, but really need to move it probably about, well, it probably just needs to move up with the TDBB, or right here in this tree line would be good too. Uh, and then move the Iglas up just a little for better air coverage um you can see jelly's arty is doing a fantastic job taking out moving up some more t80s uh you can also see i'm incredibly passive just check out this rocket launch see what we take out over here looks like i was just off on the mark well i got a got an ihawk there it's a little off on the barrage there but you know, taking out some AA assets, not too bad. Here comes another barrage. See where it lands. Very short. Very, very short. You can also shift click targets. So if I had selected these guys and I shift click like here, 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 then they'll fire in that way. Jellybean with a C didn't really get anything. I believe IHOCs are radar. I believe that's some of their yeah, active radar. So the seeds will take uh, 
in theory, be able to take out the Ihawks, but obviously they, they need to get there unscathed. Um, you can see I have no idea what I'm doing. This giant blob of infantry, man, if the AI knew about this infantry and got an MLRS strike into there or even a cluster bomb, HE bomb, napalm bomb from enemy aircraft. That would have been brutal. Um, this area here, doing pretty well. Really, really though, this, this T-80, terrible line of sight. You need to check your line of sight on your vehicles. These T-80s, pretty good, along with this Conkers, um, which really badly needs a resupply. I don't know if I know that. And these T-80s pushing up over here. So, what's the plan for the channel, especially with Warno? Well, I would like to learn Warno a lot more. I think this game is absolutely amazing. I do own Steel Division 2 also. I don't have all of the DLC for it, but I, I probably will mess around with Steel Division 2 as, you know, it's the predecessor to Warno, although Warno just has some uh, shots bouncing off that Abrams right there. Or is it shooting the Abrams behind it? Oh, it got the Abrams behind it. Oh, you can see this is just a kill zone right there. Very, very nice. Dude, oh, we did get the supply truck up there, which is very good, so that Conkers can start reloading. But yeah, I, I would like to play a good amount of Warno. I think this game is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I do have a 10v10 multiplayer battle that I will show off. I don't know how many 1v1 multiplayer battles I'll do, um, but 2v2 I could definitely see myself for sure um, participating in those skirmishes, uh, larger multiplayer battles where my terrible micros I learn isn't at a major disadvantage. And then I, I would like to do the army general in the operations. That's definitely there. I, I would like to get to the point where my micro is good enough to where I could start doing some 1v1s, but the 1v1s might be more with friends or YouTube commenters, members, Discord users, whatever. Um, just so it's not exactly hot and sweaty. Uh, I would like to do some 2v2s with Jelly Bean as, you know, my allies. Air assets just getting obliterated by chaparrales and stingers. However, Jelly Bean has brought up a Burntino, and he is... Well, we didn't like this town, so we just decided to flatten it. I think there was some infantry moving up there earlier, and that's what he was targeting, but the Burrettino, a very, very fun piece of equipment. This is where I learned that these grads just take an insane, insane amount of supply. So I would recommend not bringing three grads to the battle. One or two is alright. I personally like the artillery a lot more than the M... <laughs> and I'm bringing up more. This is not what you should do. I personally like the artillery a little bit more, and uh, you can see I'm starting to bring it up. These, the the MLRSs, um, they're, they're fantastic at blowing up infantry in buildings and cover, especially if you're making a push. Um, but I find that the artillery can just do some amazing damage. I also, I, I probably went heavy on the artillery. I like to with a munitions truck backing them up, spread them out a little, and then against good opponents you need to move them after shooting, otherwise they'll get counter-batteried. Um, and there are some very, very good players out there that really know how to counter-battery the enemy. Um, you, can put, you can put them on counter-battery orders, or you can manually target them. Best to make them into a control group. Uh, this SU-24 is not going to have a good day. Yeah, you can see Stingers galore, and it goes down. F-16s coming in just in case the plethora of Stingers didn't do their job. Here's an MLRS launch. And I think this one is on target. And this looks like a good one. This is a very, very good launch. Um, I think I saw 
when Jelly Bean was flying his, uh, his airplanes over, a lot of AA fire coming out of here, and I think we spotted some infantry in there. So I decided that these woods should not exist anymore, and that is the power of the rocket launchers. I very, very good, and see, it actually forced the Abrams out, and Jelly had some T-80s ready to take it out. Um, that Milan had to scatter out if only we had eyes on it. Yep, no eyes on it. If there was a recon unit over here, or if uh, we got these specnauts into these buildings somehow, um, that would have been amazing. Well, not that building. Maybe this tree line. You can see the AI... Well, that's not what a toe should do. <laughs> a toe should not be leading the charge. Not sure what I did with that AT. I imagine the, the AI kept pushing down this road, which I was all for it because I had the Conkers that could fire to about here down the road and the two T-80s doing a fantastic job in a supply truck. And then the Spetsnots with their vision. That T-80, however, taking a beating, and I'll probably lose it. Probably lose that one unless... Oh, it took the toe out. Perfect. So over here, AI has some chaparrales. I think I spotted them with this recon. And I believe I was trying to push up with the T-80s. You can see though, Sir Jelly Bean and I, massive advantage. Which eh, is to be expected, even though this was my first game. Medium AI, not, not the greatest by any stretch of the imagination. But... I do want to make a video later on how Warno's AI is actually pretty good in the grand scheme of things. And there we have some battles where Jellybean and I went against very hard AI, learning our decks, learning our roster. And there's a couple where the AI did some amazing things and we actually lost. Not not proud to say. I won't show the entire video of those battles, but uh, probably used different clips and snippets of those battles to show off AI. Uh, reason I bring that up is because I play quite a plethora of games. If you look through my channel, there is the Ultimate General series, which includes the Civil War and the American Revolution. AI in those, it's, it's rather Total War-esque, where the AI does its thing, it's okay, but it's... It's not great by any stretch of the imagination. It is getting better and better, but not not great by any means. And then I play Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, you, the AI in that. Um, I, I would say also not, not very, very good in the grand scheme of things. Those games generally, the challenge comes from the AI getting more resources, getting basically cheat codes if you want to call it that where they're able to recruit more men they get more men they get more veterancy all of those things where in warno the ai as far as i understand it's just better it's not it doesn't get more resources than you if i'm wrong on that let me know in the comments but as far as i understand it's just a better ai overall they choose um to attack better if they find a weakness they will push that weakness uh aa assets taking those down you can see we have a monstrous amount of aa on the table right now and there is the victory so that's about it for today's episode we'll go over the kill ratio there um you know that's you know six <laughs> 6.41 to 1 kill ratio is insane. Keep in mind, playing against uh, medium AI, so the AI is pretty trash at this level. But when it gets up to hard, very hard, I haven't played... I forget what the final difficulty is called. It, it gets pretty difficult. I was also very passive, where Jelly Bean was very aggressive. You can see Jelly Bean had more kills than me, but more losses. Um, and that just comes with the uh, being aggressive. If you look over here... You can see different kills. Um, some of the aircraft with some very, very nice kills. One aircraft getting three Abrams, which is absolutely amazing. TD, BV, I believe. Yeah, this is all my stuff. 
this T80, absolutely crazy. What is that? Three, four Abrams that it took out, along with Bradley's and infantry. And then uh, I believe that's a recon vehicle there. <laughs> it also took out a Huey, I guess. That's uh, the Dushka on it, or I don't know, maybe it actually shot at it. And then this T-80 doing great, taking out all of those toes, which th those can be absolutely deadly. Grad Launcher doing okay, not amazing. But yeah, you can see kind of very passive on my end, whereas, let's see, these are my losses, mostly aircraft. Uh, it takes a little while to get good with aircraft, I would say. That is for sure. But let me know what you guys want to see. We're not giving up on the Ultimate General series. Just uh, needed to take a break from it as that was very much in beta and uh, they've released it to Steam now. And I'll probably be trying out the British campaign and going back to the United States campaign. Definitely do a lot of Warno on the channel. Would love to integrate Steel Division too. And there are plenty of other games on the horizon that I've been uh, learning and doing a little bit of recording on, but Warno is definitely the game that I've played the most recently and plan to put a bunch of videos. So that is it for today's episode. Thank you all for sticking with me if you are still here. Absolutely love all of you. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that YouTube jazz. And as always, guys, until next time.